Welcome back to another edition of Audio Fiends. Today, we got Gunna. Fuck you and me. So, there's a lot of lore to this. This was off, this is the sixth, the sixth song off of Gift and a Curse. Um, the producer for this, did you see this? The producer was standing outside of Gunna's, like, car, holding up a sign, saying, I produced a song. Gonna didn't even know who he is. That's how global we are. You know, you get a beat, you find a beat somewhere. You know, you don't even know who, who produced it. You just use that shit. You buy it and use it. And the dude wanted to, you know, work with Gunna more. So he stood outside of his studio, holding up a sign. Hey, I produced this song. And, you know, I think Gunna stopped for him. And they, they ended up working on this song. Oh, what song? Fuck you mean? Oh, the old song? Uh, Let's see if it's here. Cooler Than a Bitch. I know how that song goes, actually. Cooler than a bitch. Yeah, it's pretty smooth. It's pretty smooth. Um, I guess Gunner didn't even know who he was, but he put in the work, stood outside, waited for that nigga. Now they locked in for one of his biggest songs. Okay. So I think that's interesting. It's a pretty nice uh, little story. Um, yeah, nice little story. So work hard, guys. Work hard. You never know what kind of opportunities will come towards you. Um, you know, put that content out. You know, do things outside of the ordinary. You get blessed. So this song went viral on TikTok because you know the bitches. You know, they want to stand in front of the camera, vibe to what Gunna saying. They talked about titties and asses. But haven't seen the video yet, so well, let's check it out. Skinny Gunner. I've seen the snippets, man. Skinny Gunner don't even look the same, man. He doesn't even look like the same person. You don't have anything to say? I've been lost this entire time. You've been talking. I'm like, what is he talking about? <laughs> there you go. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't know. It was weird. It was like you were saying all this to me as if as if I had something to say. But it was, I don't, I've never heard the song. I don't like, I don't know. Oh, you never heard the song? No, I've never heard. All I've heard is the, yeah, that's all I've heard. I don't, I've never heard the song before. Fair enough. I saw I saw the video of the dude standing outside of the thing. I saw one person. I, I didn't even watch the video. I just so saw you do it. have things to say. Now you're saying now you're saying the stuff. Well, look, I did want to say this, but I didn't know where it would fit in. I didn't know if it was appropriate to say. But I'm gonna say it now because I'm already in the middle of it. I saw somebody they made a tweet and they were like, "This is why hip hop is dying when there's this much of a disconnect between the people who make the music and you know the people who are effectively like the mascots." Of course, there's gonna be you know. The music is gonna suffer. That's or some dumb like shit. That. That's like saying that's kind of facts. It's kind of facts. That's like saying we should know all the trainers for the NBA players. You're saying that, but niggas don't even know the coaches. You see, I should smack the shit out of you as a producer. Why would you say that super, kind of stupid shit? Well, I'm just saying, like the niggas that make the beat. That, that, that's like that's no, like, that's like for me, that's like forty percent of the song. For you, it's damn near like eighty percent. So it's like, why would you even say some stupid shit like that? Well, that's why I do the work. I actually make people, I actually go over the producers every time I do a show. Okay, so when that guy is saying this I don't is think I don't think it's the reason the hip hop is dying. That's what I think is the stupid part. I think I think there's some legitimacy to it. The music is weak as fuck. I think the problem is actually that... Nobody's making anything. Nobody's really chefing, curating anything. Hold on, hold on. Wait, what does that have to do with what he said? He's saying that... When there's this much of a disconnect between the people who are making, and he's obviously oh, like how like Drake will links up with Forty yes, in the studio. Yes, yes, and makes high quality shit. What does this nigga find the the, the beat on YouTube? Like, what, what the fuck is going on? But I think that's a problem with the consumers. The consumers don't care about the producers. The select few. Murder beats will get a shot. I would say that the artists don't care about making high quality shit. Niggas, niggas will bump a nigga like Yeet. They'll bump niggas like Playboy Cardi. They'll bump niggas like Lil Uzi. But don't even care who are the people producing their shit. So, see, niggas cared about, oh, Drake sounds different. So, when they see No Afford It Shabib, when they see Boy Wonder, niggas, those became household names. Niggas knew who they were. These other niggas, they don't even know who they're producing their shit. But that's what I'm saying. I, I think that's because the artist... Drake shouts out his producer. I think that's because the artists don't care about making high-quality shit. So nobody cares to look up who the producer is. Because, oh, he just ripped the beat from, from whatever. And they just kind of like the way the dude sounds. I've been listening to it. I've been like, this shit is mad. It's kind of cyclical. I don't know what the starting point is, yeah, but yeah, that's, 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 I feel you. I feel what you're saying. Anyway, don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's get into the tunes, man. Are they coming super slimy or look right here? Super slimy? I think those two today. 
I swear that shit love to get spanked. I tackle her. Bitch love that wrestle. Do those bitches care if he snitched? No, not at all. <laughs> That's the best part, but it's fine. What? That the the e yeah. That's the best part of the song. We can't really say as a man to feel. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like you want, I want to say it every single time, but it's like that'd be crazy. You say it. Yup. No, 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 no. Say how they said it. I don't have that kind of voice. You can't. You can't do the. Yeah. This nigga can't sing. Nah, I see. <laughs> <laughs> it's not one slant, it's the other. <laughs> it's crazy. Why me go be like the word? And I ain't smoking no shirt. I'm in the beat with Pete Diddy. QP. QP. I love my bitches, it's pretty. They showing their titties, is up to the ceiling. I let her run through a million. I rock with her, really. Let's fuck on the bed. I'ma get down to the gritty, then fuck up the city, the home of the villains. SSC wanna fulfill it. Smoke out the pound when I'm chilling. Nah, Trapping, I made me a killer. Yeah. Look, I got it right away. Yeah. I hope you play your position. Yeah. I don't want nobody listening. Yeah. I see the whole precision. Yeah. Give us my only decision. Yeah. Ain't got no one that back calling me splurge. Yeah. Drop me jump right off the curb. Yeah. Make the spread fly like a bird. Spin on the first and the third. Yeah. Solid, I'm keeping my word. Can't be my equal, I don't know what you heard. Yeah. Crack up the four and I swear. Keep me a stick with they purge. That is gonna fly. It is gonna fly. I guess I'll go first. Cool, calm song. I don't really know how it fits in the album, but I mean, sure went viral. I'll give it because I did add it to my playlist, but I don't really like it that much. I'll give it like a seven. I will add this to my playlist. In fact, I will add it to my playlist. And in my own privacy, when I'm by myself, I will be saying the E up. Yeah, <laughs> I will be saying it. I will be saying it appropriately, and I don't care because nobody will be there to hear me. Uh, this is a pretty good song. Like you said, it was calm. It was chill. Um, yeah, I got that flow. Yeah, yeah, it was good flow. It just sounded good. It just sounded good. Some shit that you want to get lit to. Damn, I can see why uh, it went viral. I'll give it a uh, seven. It's a good yeah. song. Let us know what you guys think in the comment section. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next video. Peace out. Peace.